this ice cream guy has been parked in front of our house for an hour. Hey guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is Monica and today we're gonna kick it back a bit today we're going to be talking about what my makeup collection used to look like pre YouTube I actually only have one picture of like my full collection before I really got into YouTube so we're gonna go over that picture talk about everything in it and then talk about what my makeup routine used to be versus kind of how it is now this is also a more casual style of video I got really good feedback on my last casual video so I'm gonna try to do some more videos like this uh, it's like nighttime I'm about to go to bed <laughs> just did my nighttime skincare routine just relaxing so before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Gotta make sure I stay in front of the light right there because otherwise, oof. So let's take a quick look at the picture of my makeup collection. This is around, I want to say, December of 2014. So I had one bag, most of this is from Sephora by the way, I had one bag of makeup, two little cups of makeup brushes. So let's go through the tools first, let's go through the makeup brushes. So on the left hand side we do have, that's just one makeup brush kit that I got from Sephora. That was like a smoky eye, like an everyday smoky kit. And I, I liked it, they were pretty good. I kept some of those brushes up until like fairly recently. but. I think the issue was that back then I still didn't really know how to use them properly so I wasn't really using them for what I was supposed to be using them for. On the right hand side those are all of my face brushes. <laughs> so I had like one paddle foundation brush, I had a smaller paddle brush, I guess that was supposed to be for like concealer. Actually there's like three paddle, I don't know why I had three paddle brushes and then one powder brush. <laughs> Yeah, and then the other tubes in there are makeup, so we're gonna go back into that a little bit later. The last tool that I see in here, there's two tools. I have a whole thing of Q-tips right here. Still have those, you know, what are you doing without Q-tips? And then also just an eyelash curler. I had that eyelash curler until like less than a year ago, and then I finally replaced it. Okay, so let's actually get into the makeup. So as you can see, I only had two types of foundation. I have two bottles of the Sephora CC cream which that used to be like my go-to and I only stopped using it because they discontinued it. So I used to like really be big when I first got into foundations I was too afraid to really do anything so I used a lot of CC creams. So the first one I ever used ever was that Sephora CC cream. Loved it. It was a good shade match. I could kind of just like rub it in like a lotion because CC creams, they're more like moisturizers. Once they discontinued that, I was fairly upset, but also I didn't really know where to go from there. So next to it, you can see, I'm pretty sure that's like a Maybelline Fit Me right there in C2. I don't have a cool undertone, so that didn't match me at all. I think I think I barely used that one because it was just such a bad shade match. I was horrible at shade matching myself back then. Another reason why I went for like more sheer CC BB creams. So that's why I had two bottles of the CC cream once I heard like they were discontinuing it. I bought like an extra bottle or two, but then once I ran out, I had to like find other stuff to use. Next to that, we have some lipsticks. And the funny thing was I bought lipsticks thinking that I would use them. I didn't have any lip liners or anything. I just had th four lipsticks. And these I had in my collection until a little while ago. I rarely used any of them. I picked up a pink, like a light pink and then a red because I was like, that's what you should have in your collection, right? I had no idea what I was doing. I had no idea how to, like I was too intimidated to wear lipstick, especially that bright pink lipstick. I don't think I wore that once. But I had them and they just basically just sat there and kind of stared at me <laughs> for a long time until I finally got into like a place where I was comfortable wearing lipstick which is only like last year like it took me a while to feel comfortable enough to wear lipstick out of the house so I, I'm pretty sure I had it but it's not here in the picture I had one face powder it was also from the Sephora collection it was like their I don't think it was baked but they had like a domed face powder I'll throw a picture up right here and I would just use that over the foundation or the CC cream I didn't use concealer <laughs> I didn't use concealer for a long time and you know what's missing from this picture? Bronzer, contour, blush, highlight. I didn't use any of that. <laughs> None. I just CC cream, powder, that's it. 
that was it. <laughs> My god, are there kids playing outside right now? It is night. It is bedtime. What are you doing? Go to sleep. I should be asleep. So you can't really see from the picture, but in the middle, that's actually like a little mesh bag in the bag And that's where I would keep like my eyeliner So I was a huge fan of just a black coal eyeliner pencil. I had like three of them in there I had three of those and then I had mascara. So those are actually in the little tub the little blue cup right there I had two mascaras. I'll throw a picture of one. I had the same like stiletto mascara for a long time It wasn't a really that great of a mascara but i was just like oh that's just what mascara does no not necessarily so i had that i also i can i'm pretty sure that there's a primer in that tub i think it might have been the first primer that i had tried and it looks like uh the poor professional if i'm not mistaken i think it is pretty sure that was the first primer i tried and i think you can see behind the brush right there there is my first one of my first liquid liners i know my very very first liquid liner was actually a huge mistake but it was a liner from sephora it was a pot liner so you actually had like a little pot of liner and you had to dip your brush in and then draw on that's so difficult for a beginner to use but that's just what i picked up it's so much easier to use a pen or a marker or whatever for your first liner i don't know why i jumped right there but again i didn't really know anything so i think I had gotten that pot liner first and then realized how terrible I was and then tried a liquid liner. Honestly, I, you, I have no idea what brand it was. I really don't remember. Probably a Sephora brand because a lot of the stuff you can tell it was like the Sephora branded brand, like their house brand because I did get like a couple of gift cards for my birthday and for Christmas in that, in that December and I just went and kind of bought whatever I could find that was the cheapest at Sephora. They were like partying out there. What is going on? Okay, so I think we've covered everything except for those two eyeshadow palettes. So the two first eyeshadow palettes I have, those are both from Too Faced. The first one was the Boudoir Eyes palette. I actually did a whole video about my history with that palette. I will throw that up in the cards so you guys can check that out. And the other palette right behind it, it's also from Too Faced. It's another nine pan tin palette. It is their Natural Eyes palette. Not the Natural Matte, but the Natural Eye. Those I think were so good for beginners. They're a small manageable size. The shades are pigmented, but not overly so. They're blendable and I like the way that they lay them out in the palettes so that you can actually like create a look quickly or create a look simply out of them so in addition to that all i had was my mirror and that was my entire makeup collection before i really got into youtube it's funny to look back and think about how much i've changed and how much i've learned and how much fun i've had since then but i like to you know take the time to look back i also try to look back sometimes on like my first youtube video and just see how far i've come there too because i've also learned a lot in the past year just on like video editing and filming and just curating my content on youtube and i'm just having so much fun with this and i never want to like forget where i've come from so i do like to look back like this and i think it's just fun and really informative to reflect on where you've been and just appreciate where you are now i was actually planning on doing like a quick overview of my current makeup setup since i rearranged a few things but my room right now is a little bit of a mess <laughs> i'm getting some furniture removed and i'm getting some new furniture brought in so i think i'm going to just do a separate video where i show you my new setup because i'm really happy with it i'm so happy with it but i did do a video a couple months ago of my makeup collection i'll throw that up in the cards if you guys want to check that one out though it is a little bit outdated right now but it's still a really good overview of what i currently have so thank you so much for watching let me know down below what was your like beginner makeup kit and if you guys want to see that too because i feel like i'm at a point now where i could do like a beginner drugstore makeup kit or a beginner where to start with high-end makeup i could definitely put that together just let me know if you guys would like to see and if you want to see like a drugstore or a high-end one or like a combined one so thank you for watching hope if you like this you'll give it a thumbs up and i hope i'll see you in my next video bye